Today we're going to be showing you how to tune your frog so that you can catch more bass. Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be talking about tuning frogs. Frog fishing is easily one of my favorite ways to catch bass and believe it or not there are some small things that you can tweak that will get you a better action out of your frog as well as change the way that you frog fish. So all you're going to need for this today is a pair of scissors, a pair of pliers, and your fresh hollow body frog. So I'm going to open this up. This is the filthy frog and I have a fresh one straight out the box. And just to touch on this guys, your frog out the box will work fine. So don't think that it's just not going to work, but with every lure, there are small things that you can tweak and tune to your personal preference to catch more fish. So with a hollow body frog, you'll notice that the legs are typically long and you know, it just, it looks like it's ready to go out of the box. But some of the things that people overlook with hollow body frogs is the fact that those hooks out of the box can often be very close into the body of the frog. Now that's not necessarily a bad thing because the purpose of the hollow body frog is to be weedless and to not get caught up in lily pads and things like that. But oftentimes out the factory, out the box, these hooks can be too far in and what they're going to do is they're just gonna poke into your frog which is going to put more holes in your frog that's going to bring more water in which unfortunately over time that frog is going to sink more than it's going to float and it's going to prevent you from getting a really good hook set. So one thing that I like to do when I get the frog out of the box if I notice that these hooks are just too close to that bait is to take a pair of pliers and squeeze that frog. Be careful here and just bend those hooks out just a little bit on each side. By bending these out, what you guys are doing is you're giving that hook more exposure. It's going to allow you to have a better hookup ratio with your frog. Now, this doesn't mean that your frog is bad out the box or the brand of frog that you bought is bad. It's just one thing that is easy to tune that is going to catch you more fish. A lot of baits out of the box need tuning. The next thing that we're gonna do here is trim down the legs of the frog. Now, this comes down to personal preference. You guys don't have to trim them down if you like them long, but it is known that if you do trim these down, you can get a better walking action out of your frog. So some people will actually trim one leg shorter than the other. I personally like to trim them even, but I do like to trim them down. So what I will do is I will run my finger down and kind of take these down to almost like an inch left on that bait. So as you guys can see here, I have almost an inch on the legs here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm going to cut these right on my fingers. Be very careful, do not cut yourself, but you're just gonna cut right through them with a pair of scissors, and boom. Take that extra stuff, throw it out. Sometimes you'll have some stragglers, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim those up. So when it comes down to cutting the length of the frog, this one I took almost an inch off, and I know it looks like a lot, and it looks like those legs are really short, but I did this intentionally for me because a lot of the bodies of water that I've been fishing this year, I've been finding those fish to grab those long legs on the frog, pull that frog under, and then eating it, which is more of like a short strike, and it's kind of caused me to rip that frog away from that fish more often. So one thing that I figured out this year was by cutting these legs really short, I was getting a way better walking action, as well as just getting the fish to fully commit to eating that frog. They weren't grabbing those legs, trying to yank it under the water, and then eat it. So that is why I cut it this short, but again, get it down to your personal preference, whatever you like. By trimming these legs up a little bit, you're gonna get a little more action out of your frog. So now that our frog is tuned, I wanna go over a quick frog setup that I've been throwing this year that I think is gonna benefit you guys. If you're new to frog fishing or you're not quite sure what setup to throw with a frog, this is what I'm throwing in on. So this right here is the Guggen Muscle. This is a 7.5 heavy fast action rod. This is a really great rod to throw for frogs. You're gonna want a long, heavy duty rod to fish a frog. You really wanna be able to pull those fish out of that heavy cover. Paired with this rod, we have a high gear ratio reel. I like to fish in eight, six gear ratio, but anything that's like seven or higher will get it done for you. The reason we want a high gear ratio reel is because we're making long casts, we have a lot of slack, we wanna be able to pick up that line and make a hook set. Then to bring it all together, we have 
heavy duty braid. We have 50 pound Guggen braid in here. You guys want something, again, to get out of that heavy cover. You don't need to worry about the fish seeing it. This line is gonna be in that nasty stuff. You're gonna be moving pretty quick and uh, the fish aren't gonna hesitate to blow up on that frog. We're fishing on top of the water. You guys will be good to go. So just have some backbone when it comes to fishing a frog and simple adjustments can make all the difference on getting on your first fish with a frog. If you guys are looking to check out some videos on frog fishing, I actually have one linked down here below. Go ahead, check it out. But other than that, hey, if you guys are looking to learn more about fishing, consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.